Right, welcome back to Amped with me, Johnny Dermot. I'm joined on the sofa by True Heights. How are you, how are you doing, guys? Yeah, 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 it's a bit hot in here. You know, my throat's a bit dry, actually. It's <laughs> sweltery outside. Uh, but yeah, I've been meaning to get you on the show. Uh, the guitarist out of my band is also in a prodigy tribute band with you. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Uh, that's what are they one. called again? Jilted, Jilted Generation. Jilted yeah. Generation. So yeah, if you need a prodigy covers band, <laughs> Uh, get in touch with uh, but yeah, we're here to talk about True Heights. Uh, Sean's been telling me to get you on the show. He's been doing quite a bit of PR work on the side for yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, he said it's ideal for my show, my type of thing. Uh, but yeah, tell people out there um, who don't know about True Heights, when did you meet, when did you get together, what's it all about? Uh, we started now, it was about, about two years ago, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. We come from two different bands. We had. These guys were in the trio, I, Steve, Ash and Kiffy were yeah. in like um, a metal dubstep kind of act. Mm -hmm. and we were a, me and Luke, Luke used to be a drummer in my old band, he's now yeah. a guitarist in this band. Uh, we were a three piece post hardcore band. Um, we got a message off Steve one day, we both the bands broke up ironically at the same time. Yeah. Uh, got a message off Steve, he said you fancy a jam, you know, you fancy hooking something new up, I've got some new ideas for a new project. Uh, so we thought, you know, we wanted to uh, make something a bit more accessible than what we were doing mm. before, um, hit a wider, you know, age range really, audience yeah, wise, yeah. Uh, and make something that was more accessible that we could, you know, you know, get radio play from and um, just something a bit more hearty really and a bit less less sort of pigeonholed into, into a genre. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of bands who've come from like post-hardcore backgrounds or different metal backgrounds, uh, but when they've got together have ended up uh, making something like you said that's quite melodic, you know, quite mm, audience yeah. friendly, something yeah. you can just dance along to yeah, as yeah. well. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I suppose it is, uh, your music is kind of in the vein of things like Young Guns and, you know, Kids in Glass Houses, that kind of yeah. area. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so, so you got together, uh, like you said, out of two bands, uh, and did it start to gel straight away? Yeah, I'd say we, well, we, we came up with it, we literally start, you know, everything we've done, we just wanted to base around huge choruses, mm. but still retaining that kind of, I like to think we keep that sort of mapping element. The same mindset, what we wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 the electronic the stuff. direction, basically, yeah. Mm. yeah. All the electronic stuff kind of like doled down, but it's still in there. Like, yeah. back in the day, it was all about wobbles. Yeah, yeah. Still in there. Oh, I see. So you've still got kind of soundscapes, but you've pushed them to the back a little yeah, bit rather much. than having transformer noises on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it genuinely was, actually, transformer noises. Yeah, you still do my noise. I know, like, of course, as well, working with, working with Matt has helped us a lot, our producer. Um, has produced the likes of, you know, he's worked with Yumi at Six, he's worked with Def of Vanu, he's worked with Don Broker. Oh, so that's yeah. kind of yeah, helping yeah. us out yeah. with the sound and direction where we want to be, really. Um, and, you know, Where's he based? He's based down in London, well, sort of Surrey, kind yeah. of way. Um, Don't give him all the secrets. No, yeah, I can't give you all the secrets. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm not going to visit him. We, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we did the first record with him, uh, the TH15, the seven track EP we did. Yeah. Um, and I can't give too much away, but we are currently working on some stuff at the yeah. moment. Uh, ready for next year. So. Are you guys all Midlands based anyway? I mean, are, are you, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, two like sets of, two sets of brother and brothers and Chris as well. So exactly. he's like, he's like, he's like <laughs> brother, he's I'm the only one without a brother. He's <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> about a brother. <laughs> so yeah, you're working on the next release. Um, we are going to watch a video in a little while, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but yeah, I mean, what's next for you guys other than that? I mean, are you out gigging at the moment or have you been taking a little oh, yeah, break? Yeah. Oh, I like oh, this one. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> We've got quite a few good ones, actually. We've got a really big show coming up soon. We've got a tour coming up at the end of June with um, a band called 1958. Yeah. Um, and we've also, as well, which is an absolute dream come true for us guys, that Lonely the Brave are coming to our hometown in Leamington. Excellent. Um, and we've been announced for support for that, so yeah. we're so stoked Real for that. It's going to be That'll be so amazing. Yeah, really we're really really like, they're one of our favourite bands in the scene. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I've been you know, playing them a lot. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, they seem like lovely guys, so hopefully that'll go really well. And it's perfect to audience as well for yeah. your kind of stuff mm. as well, so make sure yeah. you get the merch table at the back. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, that's, that's the way you've got to play it. to run it again. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, tell us about the video that we're going to watch uh, watch in a sec. I think, you know, I've seen a couple of clips and it looks like you're gambling. 
Mm. Yeah, but tell us about it. Um, well, the concept really came from all of us, really, didn't it? We um, we actually filmed it in in Kiffy's girlfriend's flat in Chapel Town in Leeds, which was the scariest place. What the flat or the area? Just, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. flat. The flat itself is kind of it was, our, it was like our safe point, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 We uh, recorded the performance section in the flat, um, and the story is basically about um, sort of. The, the idea behind it is the girl in the video is not really kind of real um, and I keep seeing her around that kind of thing and at the end it sort of becomes like that it's just a kind of mirage, imagination. Um, Don't ruin it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, spoilers. Yeah. No, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just completely ruined the video. Don't <laughs> enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I suppose that was really the sort of top and bottom of it, wasn't it really? Mm -hmm. with, with yeah. stay. I think um, at this stage it, it was a lot more performance. We want to get more of that in the story, so we were just going absolutely crazy and yeah, getting as much in and just yeah, made, kind of that, smashed up the flat. The, a bit, like. There's a scene where we flip a table, and that <laughs> that was genuinely very scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we really went for it, and everyone was like, Zach actually got angry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got angry. <laughs> well, the thing is that um, a little sort of a little secret about Stay actually, Stay wasn't supposed to be on the record at all. Stay. Right. Right. Stay was one of those songs that we'd recorded, we'd written and recorded the was it f the five tracks. Yeah. Um, and Stay was supposed to be a bridge point between releasing the EP and the album. But when we took it to the studio, instantly we, you know, we. You were like, it's a strong Matt, song. And, and yeah. Matt, Matt strong. said, that's the, probably the strongest and most weighty song yeah. on, the, on the record. And we thought, well, we can't leave that now. So, so is this on the EP before or is this on the, the first, new stuff? first track on the, fir on the first EP we did and it, oh, wasn't, right, so okay. it wasn't supposed to be on there at all so it's nice to you know to have got the feedback and of course the place and Kerrang and, and Skurs and everything like that from from this and we felt that it's given us a real stepping stone into the industry so. So Kerrang TV are helping you out a little bit yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, uh, yeah. I need to get you on the radio uh, so send me some stuff in the morning uh, because it's hard to keep track of all the bands <laughs> yeah. honestly. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming in good luck with everything uh, everyone out there look out for True Heights uh, and let's watch the video now this is Stay on Amped. Through the days that we waste A million would move on to better things